All right, so I went to Anna Maritime. I wore this shirt. My wife wore one that said, he really is. I bought some comics and I talked to the guy that wrote them and it was really exciting. And then some really cool stuff happened that didn't have anything to do with it, really. And that's kind of what I want to talk about. This is United A-Holes, a video cast discussing cultural topics with no filter. Welcome back to Area 41, Adam Atkinson's favorite spot on the internet. Who, who is Adam Atkinson? <laughs> okay, so I <clears throat> went to Anna Maritime on the weekend, wore this shirt with my wife wearing the one that says he really is, and we met a multitude of people, to say the least. It was actually very entertaining. I've never talked to so many strangers in one day in my entire life. Um, so that led to... Um, so, actually, can I cut you off? I don't, yeah, sure. Don't mean to no, no. But can you tell us what Anna Maritime is? Okay, so it would be sort of like Comic-Con, only it's more based on animation, like a anime, sorry, not animation, anime. That's sort of where they lean. But you see Star Wars characters, Star Trek characters, you see comic book characters. Uh, in cosplay. In cosplay, and then there's a vendor's hall, which is where we typically go. But they have... Uh, people come in like there was a lady and I'm sorry I don't know her name because I'm not really into the anime part of it but that voiced several like she's well known in the anime circle she was there last year and did a panel and Michael and Allie went and met her and she was fantastic very engaging she was a really good speaker um, they have they pull from a multitude of areas so it's an maritime but it's really just geek fest okay or, yeah. you know what I mean like there's there's if you're into any sort of uh, sci-fi or anything like that or fantasy of some sort it's there so uh, so like a little video game stuff comic book stuff oh yeah movie. yeah and there's there's people that you know you'll see custom made pictures well actually Patty has one I bought for her it's about so big and it is Sam and Dean nice and they're on they're sitting sort of on the top of baby and they're looking off it's like a night scene and this was all like you know, it's a recreation, but you can tell that it was all well done from Supernatural. Oh, okay. and sitting on a baby. She saw it, and it babies the name of the car. <laughs> um, and it's really well done. It's a lot of dark tones. It's pretty cool. Um, so things like that. You, you really never know what you're going to see. So I ended up, through conversation with Michael, actually, finding out about the world's worst commissions. So... Adam Atkinson created Psychosis. That's the name of the comic book. Oh. And his reason for creating it was he was tired of seeing mental, mental illness in comic books portrayed as always the bad guy, they're evil, the Joker, stuff like that. We take mental Ill illness and we go, oh, clearly they're the bad guy. And he said, I wanted to change that and go with a different direction. I fess up at this point in time, I've not finished these yet. I bought uh, volume one and volume two. He has already written the ending of the story. They are going to have 10 volumes all together and then it will come to an end. He said, I wrote the last. He's not the artist, he is just the writer. Right. So these are signed, That's he signed them for me. So one year, I think it's been four years. Uh, yeah, it's been four years. So somebody showed up at the booth <clears throat> because the writer or the artist, the guy that, that, that does the, uh, all the art for it, will do commissions. You come over and ask to have something drawn and he'll draw it for you. So he's gone. That's that's David. David's gone, Adam's at the booth. And they're like, oh shoot, we really wanted this commission done. I'm like, well, he's he's you know, he's gone for lunch or whatever. And Adam goes, I'll do it for you. Okay. So he sketches it on a piece of paper, hands it to them, we're like, what do you want? And he goes, I don't know, give me two bucks. And the seed is formed. <laughs> the seed is planted. And it's like, this is like the world's worst commission. <laughs> so he did that. He contacted Mental Health Canada and said, what, what uh, portion of your body received the least amount of funding this year? They got the information and went, great. And he took the $2 he got from everybody and donated every bit of it. All of the money 
goes to whoever was least funded. That's in, amazing. Nice. In four years, he has donated fifteen hundred dollars. Wow, that's to awesome. Whoever he said the saddest that he was was the year that he found out that the veterans part of mental health received the least funding, and that's where he donated it to. So. I gave him all the money that was in my pocket for this commission, which was three dollars and five cents. <laughs> I was tapped out at that big point. spender. I'm that sorry, spare no. You bought his comic books though, so. But I did, yeah. I'm like, I can't come here and spend like I was there talking to him for like a half hour. So he did that based on our screen. That's, I mean, that's really all I had. Nice, nice. And his his rule of thumb is typically he only spends like one minute because he wants to do it as fast as possible. He spent more than a minute on this. I know, because we were talking the whole time. And that's his that's his little seal. mark, yeah. His seal. Yeah, exactly. We'll have an image um, of that on the screen here. Yeah, somewhere. absolutely. Um, so that led to the conversation of saying, I need to get your information because I want to talk about this on the show. Um, so I... The only way to get more of the comics is in Moncton, by the way. I would like to eventually have the rest of them. So, um, and maybe, I don't know, maybe he'll be back there next year and I'll, I'll buy the rest of them then. Um, the comic is set. I got to one point where it said somewhere outside of Moncton. So not only is he from oh, Moncton, wow. he has set the story in far in the future, but it's in New Brunswick. That's pretty cool. Awesome. It is. It's really cool. And, and the writing is good. I So far, I'm, I'm happy with it. So... But, but what he's doing with that commission is very commendable. Oh, absolutely. And a uh, great guy to talk to. And he was totally open to us talking about this on the show. And he liked, subscribed, and rang the bell just because we made him laugh. <laughs> In your conversation, did he um, tell you why mental health was a big issue for him? He didn't. And because I didn't know him well enough, I didn't broach that question. It went through my mind. I didn't know if there was a personal reason. I didn't know what, or whether it was just something like he's clearly a comic book fan. I didn't know whether he was just like, why do the, you know, why does anybody with mental illness always have to be the villain? Why can't it be, you know, the other way around? Um, which he sort of does. From what I've read so far, he's he. I think he's nailed it. But I'll be interested to see how to be this... that passionate about a subject. There's, there's a reason. You would have a yeah, yeah. Uh, so is there is there contact information if you were outside of Moncton and wanted to acquire the comics via the comic? Um, you could probably reach him. There's a Facebook page for Psychosis Comic, and there is a Gmail. Um, so psychosis psychosis the comic at gmail dot com, and um, www.facebook.com slash psychosis the comic so that would be um, well if we can drop a link in the description below yeah. if anyone's interested in picking up the comic which looks really good yeah 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 be, no. the covers look amazing yeah and they're all black and white inside too awesome which that adds a I, it, uh, I like it yeah. I yeah. really do because yeah. it makes me think of, of uh, Punisher comics yeah like that like type of style like, yeah, is Psychosis it's, the name of the superhero is it about superhero? It, it, it yeah, it is. It is, but in a dark sort of way. I don't want to get too far into it for anybody that, that like actually Spawn? wants to read it. That yeah, thing. sort of. Yeah, sort of. Um, they had some pictures around the booth, and they had. I think he drew some of these in his own like worst commission type of things, <laughs> and they had written across. I think it was this cover. They had written across. Sad, sad Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> so, so they're 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 poking fun at their own brand. I mean, they're they're a couple of of, uh, funny. of pretty funny guys, um, and I thought it was worthy to talk about and uh, to sort of promote. And and quite frankly, I'll, I'll be completely honest. If we tag this with Adam Maritime 2019, people saw the shirt but didn't remember who we were. Maybe they'll maybe it'll help us out too. You. It's a cross pollination there, so yeah. So, but how many people attend that 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 venue? Oh my land! I don't know what their numbers are like, but I've not been there that it hasn't been packed to the point where typically 
you're excusing yourself a lot. There's a lot of Canadian going on <laughs> when you're walking through. Oh, 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 sorry, pardon me. Oh, pardon me. Yeah, because it, they're... And it's annually held in Fredericton? It's annually held in Fredericton. They have a different theme every year. This year was Haunted House. Nice. Not everybody sticks to the theme for their costume, and you don't have to. You can go dressed as whatever you want. An a-hole, for example. Yeah, well, there you go. Did exactly. you wear a costume? Last year, I was Coach Dean um, for right. Supernatural. Right. Oh, okay. So Do I have to start watching oh, the Supernatural? <laughs> hey, I walked no, through. No, it's only for cool people. <laughs> <laughs> I walked through last year and had people stop and take my picture and went, is that Coach Dean? I'm like, yeah, totally. Can I get your picture? Yeah, 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 yeah. And there was a Castiel there. Nice. And from across the room, I went, cast! And my, the best Dean I could muster. And it was a, a girl, she turns around and looks at me and she's got the, the bloody stuff on like, it's Cass after he's been in a battle, right? I'm like, you look like hell. <laughs> and she comes right over, like, it's amazing the connections you can make with complete strangers. You should have been a true a-hole and went, no, I'm fucking Brent, but he can only wear a blue jacket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right on, well, maybe we should consider going next year. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, a whole passel of guys with yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they people would look. They'd be yeah. like, "What?" Might uh, be something. Might be something entertaining to do. The assholes try. The assholes try convention. The but do you dare set that convention. loose inside a convention hall with scantily clad cosplayers? What do you want? I think he should be a scantily clad cosplayer. Now we're on. Oh, opinion. I will tell you this, and I am not judging, so I do not want negative comments on this. He would fit in. I'm just saying he'll be down 40 pounds by then, right? Absolutely. Trust me. It you can go matter. as your favorite superhero. Usual man. Usual, Usual man. man. <laughs> nice. That's true. Can you hit us with some usual man right now? Absolutely. Please do. Enlighten us. Do you All, right. Man. All right. Picture the scene. You're in a restaurant with your girlfriend. And you can't I'm decide. I'm this scene. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't decide what you want to order. And so, what's the matter, Frank? Well, I don't know, Betty. Everything in the menu is just all jumbled up together. I don't know what to do. And then the waiter comes over and goes, can I take your order? I don't know what to have. Frank, take it easy. I'm just here to help. Where did you come from? I'm usual, man. And I'm here to help. What do you usually get when you come to this restaurant? Well, I usually get the hamburger special. Then why don't you get the hamburger special, Frank? Oh my God, I never thought of that. <laughs> Thanks, usual man. No problem. After all, that's what I usually do. <laughs> High five. <laughs>